Welcome back to Observer. We're about to delve into the mind of Paulina Medea. Someone who seems to have been sold by her doctor to be used for something, whatever this is. Let's go in and see what we can see and hopefully help her. Hopefully her mind isn't as extreme as the last one we went into. It's been sealed shut. Sound isolation foam on this thing. I'm trying to keep out <laughs> all that noise. somewhere where it's quieter just to talk about that so Ono is obviously the person that on the computer they refer to as Ono once but then other times just refer to as O but the other voice we heard there so someone who's rich and the person selling these sessions to them um, wants class B like citizenship as a reward hoping to get that in exchange so maybe I guess the person in this seat that I just saw is not actually Paulina? Maybe Paulina really is the girl? The little girl in the apartment next door? Maybe. And this is the person I just saw is the, the rich person? Maybe their minds like blended together or something? I don't know. I'm not quite sure yet. is not an option. Okay, now this is back to Paulina. Remember it said augmentation wasn't an option for trying to help her? Her body would reject it based on the blood tests? Inoperable. It's best to accept it. There's nothing we can do now. Another one and another. In a few weeks, you 
in mind should adjust enough for you to uh, jump in. Maybe you shouldn't have used experimental technology for fun. Seems to have really melted their mind together. How do I get through? Ah, here we go. Stop for a second. I'm a little bit disappointed that they're going with a pretty typical narrative of the autistic girl needs to be saved, needs to be cured. I mean, okay, she definitely has problems existing in society because she doesn't talk and apparently has no social skills, but that doesn't doesn't necessarily mean that she needs to be cured or that there's anything really wrong with her. It just means that society needs to adjust in a way that accommodates her. Anyway. Did we just disconnect something? What was that? Can I connect this somewhere? Wait, 
You should be able to do this. How did you know I was in here? I... learned... from her. Paulina... I won't hurt you. I'll get you out. I... don't know if I want you to. Why is that now? This... dream is a temple where we are as one. If the dream dies, the little angel flies. Let me stay with her! Yeah, her body seems to be close to getting out. She's looking emaciated and she's gonna die soon. Alright. Let's end this. Let's reboot the machine. No! That would initiate a memory wipe right now. I fear it would kill me. What about Polina? She will be alone. All alone. Please. Couldn't restore the connection. Let me take care of her. Mm -mm. There has to be some way to help you. To pull you back into your own body. My body is dead. This is the only way. Please, you have to... Pieta. Pieta. Her body isn't dead, though. Unless it just died. Corporate manager. A criminal record. Unresponsive. Life signature is unstable, but still alive. if I can use that program on this computer now. Uh, this one? Ah, yes. Restore connection or reboot system. Reboot. She's not going to wake up right now. Is it gone? The way these menus work are really weird. Like, sometimes you click it and it goes up and then stays there. Other times you click it and it just goes back and forth. Very, very strange. Anyway, I guess that's it? Maybe something's going to happen as I leave. I still want to know if I can get in this door. Yeah. What about Paulina? Is that really it? That's so anticlimactic. Just... Alright. Alright, well, I think that's all that there is of interest on the second floor that I'd missed before. Um, I'm going to move up to the third floor. That's where we found the organ dealer's place and see if there's anything else there. I'll let you know if I find something. Dan Lazarski, KPD. Just need to ask you a few questions. You have reached the Rozak residence. How can I help you? Resident. Not a word I would use for a place like this. I apologize. The phrase was chosen by my master. If you find it unsatisfactory, I will not use it again in your presence. Are you the butler? But? Now? No. 
My master is not at home. Hmm. Later, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> yes, very funny. If they're a robot, I wonder how, like, what the state of artificial intelligence is at this point. You know, are they sentient or anything? You're not a bot, are you? Yes, Femcom 6.0. A sex bot. Whoopee. That is an acceptable colloquialism. If Master Rossack isn't home, why didn't he turn you out? I was deactivated following the afternoon session. My CPU rebooted spontaneously five hours and 43 seconds later. The lockdown must have interfered with your power slot. Okay. I'd say goodbye, but I guess there's no point. Yeah. Because that would humanize me. What did you say? Please feel free to use me. Okay. Well, I guess that's a not so subtle way of saying... Yeah. They know who they are. Oh, look at this place. Oh, hey, another rose. Leading to this door must be related You're somehow. Are you kidding me? Who's doing this? And by the way, when I said I was heading to the third floor, I meant the second floor. Because ground floor, first floor, and then second floor. Is that an illusion or like, is it actually filled with water in there? You know, just hang out on this rubble covered couch, watch the static on the TV inside of the aquarium. <laughs> what the hell? Where's this now? Enough of this area seems unexplored that I'm going to bring you with me for the whole thing now, I think. I really didn't explore this floor very much. That's a safe. That's the lock for the door, is the safe? Okay, so here's we here we've been, of course. Again? <laughs> for the third time? Oh man. I guess every time you reload the game, it like reloads that script. It's not so scary anymore. I mean, it was never really scary, it was just surprising. KPD, I need to talk to you. Shit, are you for real, man? Since when do you pigs give a shit about what goes down in the stacks? We don't. And you like it that way. <laughs> yeah. Well, you got me there, man. What you want? Seen anything suspicious lately? Man, ain't nothing here that ain't fucking suspicious. Any outsiders come through here since the lockdown? Hey. I ain't seen no one, but that don't mean they didn't. You know what I'm saying? Fair enough. Later. There is actually a third floor up there, which I don't think I've been to at all. I think that's it for this floor. Pretty sure. Let's go up. What would happen in there? Holy crap, looks like a bomb went off. 
I can't go here at all, can I? But then again, there is... So we're at this stairwell. There is the other stairwell. Maybe I should see if I can keep going up on that one. Although I feel like it didn't actually have access to the third floor. But, uh... I'll go try it. Let's see. So floor number two. Does it keep going up? It does. Let's see if we have any better luck here. Oh. Wait, does it keep going up further? There's a fourth floor? See, I thought there was a series of... What the hell? Oh, I think it's a statue. Um, I thought there was a series of maps for all the floors on the very bottom floor, kind of in the lobby, and I didn't see a fourth floor. I don't think. Okay, so we have free access of the whole place here. Hey there! Did you get yourself trapped? Come on out. Is that person turning away the bloody robotic arms? Like, no. Not today. Red Light District. You got a minute? KPD. Sure. Have I been naughty? Just a few questions. Nothing to get excited about. The world's at peace, Mr. Observer. Why should I get excited? You know what I'd do? How come? I can smell your quantum patterns. I've dallied with a few of you digital devils. So you've hooked up with observers before? Yeah. They'd jack up to me like I was a cheap sex bot but nothing prepared them for what they would find in my head. Truths are there, huh? Oh, yes. They expected filth. What they got was happiness. Pure, unbridled happiness. They liked it. I liked it. They came back. Satisfied customers. In a way. But I don't do that anymore. Sorry. Hmm. Don't be. Tell me, any other hookers in the building? Careful, Mr. Observer. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words can truly hurt me. Yeah, Daniel really is an asshole. PD, can we talk? Ugh. Can I take that as a yes? I apologize, not fully in control yet. Reflex action. What the fuck are you talking about? You don't understand, not surprising, in your condition. You know my condition? Correct. You still have a long way to go. I suppose you're way ahead of me, huh? I am more advanced. Flawed, but nearing completion. Nearing completion? How completely complete are you? 78%. What happens if you hit 100? A big bang? I will be cleansed. Of what? Cleansed of body, purged of flesh, of excess thoughts. If there's nothing left to clean, aren't you a little afraid there'll be nothing... period? No. Fear is irrational. 
change is inevitable. It is more logical to embrace it. So I guess there's kind of two extremes we've seen so far. Previously we've seen the Immaculates, which don't have any augments whatsoever. And this person seems to be... whatever the opposite of that is. Someone who's trying to become fully augmented. Get rid of all human parts. Okay, I'll bite. Definition of flawed. Fragile. Predictable. Human. Predictable. Human? You are born. You procreate. You die. Not built to last. We all gotta go sometime. You say that, but you delude yourself with promises of eternal life. People really want to live forever. I will. I got news for you, Rust Bucket. Forever is the privilege of the dead. Ugh. Mods don't come cheap. Unless you get them installed in a local fucking ripper clinic. Your logic is sound, but I will not share that information with you. Suit yourself. Oh, and just be aware, the lockdown might be the phage. Of course, I know you're way beyond caring. The disease of transition? No, unacceptable. I am not ready yet. Guess you should have thought about that before you stuffed yourself with moths. Your interrogation tactics are primitive. You call yourself an observer. Yet you fail to observe the basic fallacy in your thinking. What might that be? The disease might really be the cure. Spare me the phage fucking double talk. Think about it. It targets flesh, not steel. The Nanites never meant to destroy. They meant to release us from this evolutionary setback. We were not ready. I've seen what it does firsthand. Nobody is ready for that. If the plague is truly upon us, we will soon find out. If there's a password, there must be a solution. Ooh. Oh, I don't even need to find the password. Cool. But first, let's see what's in this fridge. Why is it out in the hallway? Is it the communal fridge? People storing like can tins of sardines in the freezer. I don't think you should put cans of really anything in the freezer, should you? At least I've never seen canned food in the freezer before. Usually it's canned because it lasts a long time, so there's really no need to. Jesus Christ. Ugh. I don't know if this is blood or shit or who the hell knows what. And yes, I know we have that door back there that I unlocked. Just looking around first. What the hell? Are you a doll? You don't look like a doll. Huh.
running late. Hey, I can't make it today. Got some errands to run. I'll drop by tomorrow, bring you something special. Hope you and the baby are doing fine. S. Worried about you. Joanna, it's been several weeks since I saw you at therapy. Everyone in the group is worried sick. Please, you don't need to come to the meetings if they make you uncomfortable. Everyone has their own way of dealing with these things. Just let me know you're alright, Dr. Dursky. Seven Deadly Sins of Holographic Interior Design. I don't feel like reading that. Anything involving cats, just don't. What? This is a terrible document. Okay, so this says something about a baby. Hope you and the baby are doing fine. And then this... Everyone has their own way of dealing with these things. Is this like the quickest... This is like, I feel like this is trying to explain someone's backstory in like two tweets. The first email, like literally the only documents on this entire thing. The first email is saying, hey, this person had a kid. And the second one is saying, the kid died. And then the room's filled with creepy dolls and stuff. Hey there. So like, are you a robot or what? What the hell are you? I don't know, this game's got some good parts, but definitely has parts like this that are just the cheesiest haunted house horror cliches and stuff. I'll just close that door. I'll leave it kind of open so I know I've been in there. Okay, been there, 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 so let's go this way. That sounds like the person that was at the desk. Hmm. All the doors are locked. So I guess that's the end of floor three, so can I actually get to the fourth floor? No. Didn't expect to. Okay, so I think that's the end of everything we can explore. I st if you probably have noticed, I still haven't found the organ dealer's basement unit. Um, so I'm thinking perhaps, and hopefully, I haven't missed anything, and hopefully I just need to progress with the main quest, and then maybe something will open up, and I can get to the other side of the basement or something. Hopefully. Alright, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to head over to the Tattoo Parlor. <laughs>